Hi FlossTube, it is Helen D. In today's video, we're going through my box of ornaments. I try, I try, when we're taking the tree down to put my cross-stitched ornaments in the same box so that they all kind of stay together. There's always some that slip through the cracks and end up with the regular ornaments. Um, so I'm sure I have a couple more than what's in this box, but they're mixed in and I'm not fishing them out right now. Also, I have outgrown this box. <laughs> I have some spillover ornaments that this year I need to find myself a larger box. Uh, I really enjoy stitching ornaments and having stitched ornaments on my tree. Um, that kind of day around here. <laughs> I always in these videos will list down below the order. I will list the name of the ornament and who made it in the order I talk about them if I can find it. A lot of these, I have some freebie charts in here. I have some magazine charts in here. I'll do my best. It may be a case of I know the magazine but I don't know which issue. So let's get started. I haven't looked at these since last year. so. Hopefully I remember things, and hopefully I remember things correctly. You never know with me. So first we'll start with the three that were kind of overflow. Um, this one I know is from a Britter Kitty Designs, Britter Cup. I stitched um, a bunch of these for my nieces and nephews and my son. This one is from 2019. I like to use the little year charms. I have had a problem on my ornaments with them getting kind of um, tarnished, I guess is the word. So I have polished them with the silver cloth. I went through a couple years ago and I polished all of them as best I could. And then I coated all of my charms with clear nail polish to try and prevent further. Because I'm afraid of them like rubbing against each other. So the charms I usually get on Amazon and you can get a big giant pack of like a hundred for six or seven dollars um, And you'll see a lot of my ornaments are gonna look just like this. I do a pillow finish with cording and some kind of thing tied up here, so that's number one. These are gonna spill over everywhere The next two were gifts. This one is not stitched, but he's so so cute. My friend Tina made this for me last year It's a felted wool and I hang it on a little stand. Tina, I have cat hair on it she did a great job. So there's this guy. And then this one is from Barbie. Misty and Barbie and I, I have quite a few in here. We do usually either a Halloween or a Christmas swap. So this piece is from Prairie Schooler. It might be from the January, like monthly sampler. And this is a great idea, right? She found an ornament that just said season's greetings and mounted it on the other side. So there's those. Okay, now we will dig in. Absolutely no particular order. This one, uh, my sister Donna made me. This is one I won't know who it's from. So she made me this guy. I put a little bell on it. She made it for me and gave it to me unfinished. And so there you go, you can finish it. So I put a little bell, sewed it right on as his hat. So there's that one. This was a gift, uh, my friend Wendy. I believe this is Abby Rose. I believe, uh, again, I'll look it up. So it's a stocking. We do a swap with our um, stitching group too. This one I made last year for my husband. I know this one is from Lola Crow, and I believe it's called Release the Christmas Lights, but I just called it Christmas Kraken, and I used um, beads for the lights and just a variety of random ones I had left over. And then the cording, I added a little um, petite treasure braid in there, which kind of gives it some sparkle. And this very Kraken-y green <laughs> on the back. Uh, this one was a gift from Erin of Perpetual Projects. She made this for me. The charm's on the back and it's stuck right now, but it was from 2020. So that's sweet. It's teeny, teeny, tiny. And she finished it on a wood tag. Again, I won't know where that one is from. 
This one is a Bent Creek. It's one of their snow globe charts that they put out every year. But I decided to try and finish it as a snow globe. It's snow globe-ish. <laughs> it's not quite in the right shape. Uh, this one hangs on my tree. Here's a set. These are all uh, heart and hand. I think the name of the chart is Elfing Around, and there's three different elves. So there's this one. These I just did with a snowflake. Oh, I put the charm on the back. So you can see this one, maybe I missed. You can see how kind of tarnished that one is because it's on the back. I'm going to set it over here because maybe I missed that one. If so, I missed all three of these. It's the second one. And then the third one was really, really small, so I added kind of some layers of fabric and a button and on the back I did this one's fancy they're not usually fancy <laughs> so that those are all heart and hand this was another freebie just a little freebie one from 2017 that I made for my son a little winter cat this is a Doreen Jones uh, Pendibule. I made this for myself, Misty, and Barbie a couple years ago. These are just really sweet and cute and fun. They were different to do. Here is another of the Bent Creek snow globes, but this one I decided instead of messing around with the snow globe shape, I just kind of copied the the circle part onto the bottom because normally they're not a complete circle because they kind of go into a base. So I made it a complete circle and just filled it in with white and did this one just as a regular ornament. Last year Misty and Barbie and I all did charts from the Prairie Schooler Mary Mini Surprise and this is the one that Misty sent me. It's just so sweet with a little pom-pom. She even found like red grommets. And Barbie's is in here, I'm sure, unless, unless it got put away with the other things. This one is from my friend Marissa, M. Kissa Creations. It's a little VW bug. There is a whole lot of Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries in here, and we're getting to them, because they used to do a design in each of the Just Cross Stitch magazines, and one year I think I tried to, I think I stitched all of them, and I stitched multiples of them because I did them for teacher ornaments. Um, I believe all of these are now just on their website. So these all have a 2017, so that must have been the year. This one I used Whisper for his little beard and hat. This one. Sorry that he kicked on. I forgot to turn it off. This is Merry and Bright. I'm pretty sure I changed the colors on this one. This one I used the Whisper as well. And I'm sure there's more once we get digging, digging down in. This one's from Barbie from a couple years ago. This is a Lizzie Kate from the Jingles series and she finished it on like a snowflake ornament so that when you flip it around you just get the points of the snowflake. So that's a really simple, nice looking finish. Uh, this one I know I got in the Smalls Exchange the Frugal Empire Retreat in New York. I think it was 2019. So I don't have any information about this one, but it's really sweet and simple. And I wish, I don't know how they did this. <laughs> like the tying it around in the knot. I've got to figure that out because that looks really cool. This one I made for my husband in 2019. It's a little baby Yoda. This was a free chart that I have no idea where that one is from. I put a little star. 
This was last year. This is a Satsuma Street. This is a kind of a bigger one. It's called a Mary Pear. This is one of Jody Rice's perforated paper kits, um, but I chose to stitch it on fabric. And I love the bright blue. This wasn't exclusive, but it's now just available. She released this last year. So that's a Mary Pear. Here's one I made for my son who loves chipmunks. Um, this is Victoria Sampler. I think it's Victoria Sampler. They have a whole series of these kind of baby animals. And I finished it in this kind of tart. You find these ornaments this time of year. They're meant to go this way, like a bottle cap. No, that is a tart for your cross stitch. So I finished that in here. Here's another one of those frosted pumpkins. Not a creature was stirring. This one's tiny. Here is Barbie's Merry Mini Surprise from last year. And she found this little window frame ornament that already had all this stuff on the bottom and just popped it right on there. Oop, there goes the heat. Um, this was from my friend Rebecca from one of our switch our swaps 2021. She wrote on the back. That's smart. This might be Oh, I'll look it up. Crochetta Gogo, -Go, perhaps. I might be wrong about that. Um, but I will put this one below. He's really sweet. I like the colors. And she used her chenille all the way up around as the trim. Now we're getting to the flatter ones because they kind of are stored differently. Um, Penny gave me this one. This was from one of our swaps. I believe this is a Sue Hillis from one of the Just Cross Stitch magazines. And look at this skein. It's like a skein. This is another one that Misty did. This is one of her charts. She has a chart. Um, it's three separate. It's three people that you can stitch in a row or you can do ornaments. Look at these bells she put on the bottom. How cute is that? Her finishing. All her lines match up. I put trim on there because my lines don't usually match up. <laughs> uh, this one is from my friend Cheryl. This is a prairie schooler from, um, I think it's The Gift of Cross Stitch. It was an older magazine that you can buy digital issues of, and this is in that magazine. It's The Gift of Stitching. It'll be below. This one is from a swap. This is from uh, Lizzie, Frizzy Lizzie Stitches. This is a heart and hand chart. Um, Square Dance Christmas, and she just chose to do one and as a tag finish. This thing is so ancient, I don't even know, I don't even know. <laughs> I stitched this way, 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 way back. I think they were from like a Better Homes and Gardens. There was four different snowflakes designs. I know I had to order these little snowflake charms. I just whip stitched a front and a back. Like there's nothing in there. That's how it is. I have to keep it very flat or it gets all folded up. Uh, but I remember I did several of those for gifts that year. Okay. This one is from a Just Cross Stitch. I did a whole series of these. And then on the back, I put a picture of my son with the years. So this was 2015. I think I have some, one had his picture um, and then I have another one in here that didn't. So I kind of changed the hats to two different blues in that one. And like here's this one I used greens. And this one doesn't have anything. I did a bunch of these that year too. It was really cute. That's a really sweet design. Okay. This one I stitched last year. It was from the Friend Stitch box from um, Heart and Hand in Bent Creek. So this is Noelle, and I found a fabric in my stash that was the right colors. 
Oh my gosh, the heat again. It's not even that cold. This one my friend Tina made. And it's also from one of the Just Cross Stitch magazines. And that's like one of my girls. Probably Emmy sleeping under the tree. I love that fabric on the back. Causing trouble. As only Emmy can. This one I stitched last year. And it's from Prairie Schooler. There's Noah's Ark and Noah's Ark 2. I don't know which one this is from. Um, it's not supposed to be a penguin holding a shopping bag. But it's a penguin. And my son loves this song called Shopping Penguin. So he says, can you make it a shopping penguin? So I'm sorry, Prairie Schooler, but I made it a shopping penguin. This one is from the same set. Uh, these were stitched as called for, the flamingos. No shopping bags. This one. Handful more, there's a lot. I stitch a lot of ornaments. This one is a heart and hand. Mary, I'll have to put what book this is from. I did this one as a tag, not nearly as neat as Misty's tags. Uh, this is a with a needle and thread. Mary Hollyberry, perhaps. I know I changed the I changed the colors. I darkened up his coat. Um, I don't have a year on when I stitched this one. I put a holly leaf in there instead. Okay. Oh, here's another one in one of those tarts. Um, I think this one is called December 25th. If this is a heart and hand, one of her little we we one charts. That was a cute one to stitch. This one I stitched last year. My son loves cats. This was his ornament last year. Um, this is an Etsy shop. Cross stitch and coffee, coffee and cats. I will list it because she has a, if you're looking for cute cat ornaments or cute cat stitches, she has a ton. This is a little Doreen Jones from one of the British magazines. I made this one in 2016. It says on the back, I just sewed together with beads. There's no stuffing or anything. It's a little black cat. This one I made, um, this is a free chart on my website, eastcoastcrafter.com. Um, my son loves math and we were making, he had the same math teacher for three years. So I tried to make him a mathy ornament and this was his mathy ornament that year and I made one for us as well. Sorry, I had to do a little editing. The cats just had a rambunctious run and like knock some stuff over. So two left. This is a Pusheen that Donna made for my son. So I don't know where this one came from, but it's a little cute pizza eating Pusheen. Um, 2020, according to that chart. And then the last one in here is one that my son designed. He charted this little Mega Man and um, he started stitching it and then I finished stitching it for him and then I made it into an ornament for him. So that is the end of my bucket. We've reached the end. Um, there's more to come. I have more this year that I haven't fully finished yet that will get added to. I just really like adding a couple every year and then mixing them in on the tree. Um, it kind of, a lot of them are stitched for a specific memory. Like this one I know, we went to the Cincinnati Zoo that year. You know, the shopping penguin is something that my son loves. So they all kind of have meaning and it's a nice way to kind of have those memories um, that I get to look at every year when we pull things out. So I hope you got a little inspiration, saw some things that you liked. I will list them down below. This is going to be a big list. There's a lot of things. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.